Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes. Hello. Ooh, Hello. we did it. We did it. My hey. God. We did it, Reddit. We stepped in, and it was a quiet. It's. I'm so calm. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. Um, so welcome one and all to the first ever space episode where the entire, until unless you guys are turning around, which would be very, uh, awkward, uh, <laughs> you guys are going, you guys are here, you guys are going to space. So, one No, more. I want to stay home. I miss it. I miss home. Well, it's right over there. I turn around and crash into Clayberry. Woohoo! Die. That's how, how you frustrating eject. would that be though if like one person genuinely was like actually I want to go back. Well, you know? what would probably happen is would that person would be them. asked to roll a new character if they really <laughs> felt that way in RP. That is that is true. Uh <laughs> if they toss them off the ship. They would be, it, we would be like, "Okay, how's it fit in plot for us to dump you here so we can pick up your new character at the fucking gas station?" And that character better want to go to space. <laughs> they better I love space. Get me on the ship. Like, yeah, that's the one. That's the character. Yeah. Uh now, usually Usually when there's inter-party conflict where there's one person that doesn't align with the party's goals, um, that is true. Typically what will happen is a player will retire their character because it no longer fits with what the collective, the party wants. And then mm-hmm. um, and then the player would make a new character that would probably align more with what the party is interested in. So it's not necessarily frustrating because... Uh, a long man can attest. We we've had t- we have had times where parties split off or separate, uh, because the objectives didn't line with what the characters wanted to do. It's <laughs> it's, it's in yeah. fact every time that's happened, a long man seems to have been involved in it. Now that oh. I'm thinking about oh, it, <laughs> don't say it. <laughs> Just don't say it. Bye. Just don't. don't say it. Don't. Guys, he flies the ship, dude. All right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> give me one second, please, to give you guys the 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 wibbles, wobbles, and the vibes. Okay. So, last session, which was a couple of weeks ago, uh, you had some unfinished business over in Io, specifically over uh, in the Vashar region. Uh, you guys were faking off against the arch druid guide that was of um that was a bow sorry my brain died there uh after facing off against a multitude of of different animal ships you found out that the arch druid was a, sort of a spiritual guide that was attached over to bow and by dispatching of this guide bow is is able to pursue uh their goal to something a little bit more natural uh kind of straying away from the beaten path and yes with that Bo has a bit more control of the radiation mutations that is within him you guys went on to the ticket ready to cast off fly away and and do the thing that you got to do uh but before you did you flew over clayberry you saw that clayberry was covered in slime from the evacuation of the of of the hecaton entity and as you guys are leaving the orbit of io sort of casting a uh, a track over here to the towards the omnos trade station which you need to hit up to refuel anyways you'll begin to see this 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 amorphous giant red glowing ball sort of heading off in this direction so you two are going in completely opposite directions but you'll just see this irradiated ball of ooze i mean and it's a massive size i mean this thing Uh engulfed all of clayberry i mean that's how big this thing is and it's starting to depart over in uh in this direction does it just kind of look like like an amoeba does it look like an amoeba? What, what, wait, what was the question? <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh-huh. I was going to ask if it looks like any like other ships are like getting up close to it and being like, what the fuck is this weird-ass thing? <laughs> so um, as you're departing and this thing has been heading off in the opposite direction, you can't really tell what the ship activity is around there unless you guys change course to do that. Uh, but unfortunately, you're on very 
limited fuel uh, because your ship is a small amount of small amount of, 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 of fuel storage of energy fuel or EF. Uh, that we go there. So you're uncertain of what the activity is, but it's fair to say that there is probably a lot of, you know, a lot of people and a lot of, it, it, and it, you know, uh, others going, what the, f what the heck am I looking at over here? Um, as you flew over Clayberry, I mean, the entire city was engulfed, which can only assume that this massive ooze of Hecaton just completely engulfed the city um, before departing and leaving after you all had successfully slain uh, the eighth of Hecaton, the avatar of Hecaton. So, uh, things are uncertain at this point as we are still pretty live with everything that's happening. Uh, you guys are currently departing from Io, and that is where we will begin today's session. Any questions or anything I might have missed? Sorry. I no. imagine this will come up naturally, but what happens if we uh, eject from the ship? Great question. Uh, so that actually is a, a good natural point. So give me one second. Uh, we I gotta... don't have like suits or anything. Yeah, no. I don't assume that was ever covered. <laughs> no one here has like any real training in spaceship. So, for, <laughs> so first of all, let's go ahead and play the theme of the ticket, which should be familiar to each and every one of you. Um, so, going back to the Zelgyark ba baby, this is this is the theme of the ticket. As you guys are, I have begin one question. Yes, please. Um, one trillion years ago, mm -hmm. it was stated that. Perhaps when I got my own ship, I would get my own layer actions. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want to progress that somehow. Thank oh. you. Yeah, okay. That will be something that will be progressed. So everyone's asking questions about the ship and what you guys actually have on board of it and how it actually works, uh, which is awesome because that is the next thing we're about to go over. Oh, man. You will notice, uh, let me go ahead and make sure that I do have this before we move on. Because I don't want to be like, you'll notice in your character sheets. Uh, yep, you didn't have it. So here we go. You have been given access to the ticket vehicle character sheet. Mm -hmm. Wow. I will also give access to myself as well. I will also share the screen for this one. Oh. Do we all get access to this character sheet? So no, because happening? so I'm gonna, I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do is show you the uh, I'm gonna share the screen with you, but as of right now, and we'll actually get into that. Uh, uh, whoever has access to the cut to the to the command center to the actual cockpit is the only one that has access to the character sheet because they're the only ones that are flying it. Um, I will give a side note though, as you continue to expand the ship, you can go ahead and build uh, sort these sort of, or ha like ship stations. Uh, uh, like terminals elsewhere. Yeah, exactly. See, like so, status and stuff. Well, so yeah, that, but also, and we'll get into it, but it, it'll be really important to do that so that others can have different control of different components. So you have someone on weapons, you have someone on shields, you have Ooh. someone on report. Yeah, right now, because of how the ship is built, the, there is only one access, and that's the cockpit. Uh, it doesn't make for really good space combat because you are ha you're in control of everything. You have to fly the ship, get the I'm shields up, fighter. shoot the what? Yeah, exactly. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, and we're we're gonna get into that, but for now, I'm gonna go and show. I'm gonna share screen with you guys so you can see this character sheet, uh, and I'm gonna show chat as well to kind of like go into what this character sheet is all about. All right, so uh, ignore the stats right now. Uh, the ticket is an artificer class ship. Uh, what that means is that it has fewer hit points than uh, standard ships like fighter classes or barbarian class ships. Uh, the artificer class ship allows you to install additional workstations uh, within your ship to work on projects and things of that nature without taking away your precious expansion slots. Now, what is expansion slots? If you head over to features, you will see there's a lovely little score here called expansion. Uh, your ship is at 10 out of 10, which means this ship can only house 10 expansions and you have 
you have bet the limit of that. You're going to have to oh. continue to expand and build upon the ship so that you have more expansion slots. What are these? Exp so, but the good news is, as an Artificer class ship, uh, workstations aboard the ship would normally take expansion slots. Uh, but the first three that you put on your ship are for free because it's an Artificer class ship, it, which is all about study, science study, things of that nature. You can repurpose uh, the ticket into a warship, like a fighter class or a barbarian class. You'll have more hit points. You'll be able to have weapons uh, installed for free um, that don't take expansion slots, all sorts of stuff. But expansion slots are a big part of your ship management. So what are your expansion slots filled? Well, three of them are filled with the beautiful, beautiful propulsion shard uh, that you have successfully installed aboard the ship. It's a tier three propulsion shard, which means you can get some good speed on this bad boy and some good maneuverability. Uh, every propulsion shard or every tier propulsion shard that you have installed on your ship increases the ship's AC by two which means you currently have an armor class of 16 on the ship, which is very good. Um, a lot of guns and stuff like that usually work on flat numbers. Uh, those that are proficient in ship turrets uh, will have a higher chance to hit targets. Uh, but pretty much it's it's gonna, it, usually it's a, it's a base roll of just 20. Uh, ship's ACs are typically uh, 10 and that's it. That's all, that's all there is to it. If you hit 10, you hit the ship. Um, one thing of note about ships, specifically, hey, what if I took a blaster and decided to shoot someone? Just a dude in the middle of the road. Like, how does that exactly work? I, uh, too, would like to know. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's something that many people think about. So, uh, your ship blaster, uh, is damage is 2d6, which I know is a very standard basic one. However, if you manage to shoot someone with the ship blaster, they have double vulnerability, which is a new mechanic oh. we're introducing. Double vulnerability mm. means we multiply the damage, uh, and then mul uh, we double the damage, and then we double it again, which means if, the sh if it deals 10 points of damage, it deals 40 points of damage to a person. So it, you're you're blasting holes into people at that point. Yeah. Um, it, in the reverse, if you try to attack a ship, they have double resistance, which means if you were dealing twelve points of damage to the ship with your like sword swing, it actually is only four points of damage. Um, I'm only this is like a sort of question, I guess. Please. Does stuff for like siege weapons and siege things affect ships without yes. initiating like the resistances? Yes. So, okay. um, and that's actually what we call it. Uh, the ship blasters are considered siege weapons. So that means that they penetrate past the double resistance and they do damage normally. Uh, the ticket has siege armor, which means anything that attacks that is not a siege weapon uh, can, can do that. And yes, that means if you have, well, I don't know, a minion that has the ability to do siege damage, uh, they can wreck, they can go in to like, to hangar base and start smashing. Can we get, can we get a, like an FTL teleporter bay uh, ASAP <laughs> so we can like send Mido in <laughs> and the ships? Well, here's the funny thing. That is a mechanic in the ship. Once you install a teleporter unit and if a uh, an opposing ship uh, shield is down, and you've successfully locked onto the ship, you can teleport oh. other people onto enemy ships. So, yes, you're already on the right track of things that you're able to do. So, um... Yeah, so we got you've got uh, your high grade propulsion shard, which is taking three of your expansion slots. You've got one ship blaster. That's that's all you got right now. We still have the cannon that has not been installed yet, <laughs> uh, but you will have to expand upon the ticket or disable something because that cannon. Um, I don't have an expansion number for it yet, but it probably will be uh, one to two. You know what? Uh, it doesn't use an expansion slot for if we give it to Mito and have yes. to use it like a fucking. Edge yeah, but do we really need? Oxygen supply? Like, what the hell? <laughs> That's something we, think, we should cut oxygen immediately. I know one thing from Pulsar, and it's that we cut that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we also should be cutting the lights. Since, right, we need that off. Since we're talking about oxygen supply, you have one uh, unit of oxygen supply. Uh, every unit of oxygen supply you have gives you a week of oxygen. So, 
this recharges whenever you go to port. Uh, but if you want to do like far travels where you're going to be out for weeks at a time without seeing the port, you're probably going to want more oxygen supplies. Uh, the shield systems. So the shield system mechanically allows you to turn on the shield to raise the ship's AC by five. Uh, but there are batteries attached to your shield. Uh, so you typically you will not want to have shields on all the time because it burns out the shield battery very quickly. Uh, once you activate a, sh the, a shield to activate the plus five, um, it takes away uh, three charges of the shield. Um, every round that you leave the shield up, takes away a charge as well. Shield batteries typically have 20 charges. So this is something that you would want to use in combat purposes only or for when you need that burst of AC. Uh, that You can have multiple shield systems installed on one ship so that you could turn on one shield system to activate plus five, turn on another shield system for an additional plus five, and then everything after that is a plus two stack. So if you have five shields, let's say, Two of them give you plus five, three of them will only give you plus two, but you're you're getting those over shields going. Another thing to note, if your AC is broken uh, while your shield is up, your shield goes down. So you'll have to reactivate it again to do that. It's a constant effort of doing that. Uh, if you want to make a dodgy ship, you'll want more propulsion shards that those just increase your base AC by two while you're, 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 you're flying around in space trying to dodge shit. Uh, you have one energy fuel storage, which means you don't have a lot. Uh, each energy fuel storage gives you, uh, 250 EF, or energy fuel. If you look over on this mini-map right here, uh, you see the giant squares, correct? Yeah. Those are called galactic ticks. Every 250 energy you spend will traverse will, will traverse past a galactic tick. So what oh. that means is from where you're leaving from Io, the trade station, the almost trade station is your next spot because once you get there, make it there, you're running on empty. That is correct. Yeah. So and then from there you're going to want to refuel and then either go to another station or if you're heading to Europa uh, because of the way your ship is uh, is built you're going to be making a lot of stops along the way to continuously refuel the ship that also costs credits which you are not knowledgeable of at this point but you will be uh once you get over to the first trade station which you guys are currently heading over to uh oxygen supply right there uh you have navigation in the ship which means you have access to the star map you can look at the star map. You can actually plot a course. You know where you are in the star map. If you didn't have navigation, you're flying blindly in space, and that's a that's a bad that's a bad thing to do. Because if you lose access to the star map, you're you're stranded. You're stranded out in space, and let, and, and you have to put out a stress signal, and hopefully I someone will be good memory. <laughs> so hopefully someone will find you. Uh, also, uh, I, I remembered this looking back at our at our uh, data. Uh, mm, you have food production slime. installed. <laughs> yep. Goo. Uh, goopy. Uh, you could use food production to, to tap away at one energy fuel. Uh, by tapping one energy fuel, uh, you get one unit of food that will feed you for all day. Ooh. Mm-hmm. But that also means if you have like you, you could still eat your own rations and and stuff of that nature. Uh, so uh, with your ship, it will take you 24 hours uh, to travel a galactic tick, which means uh, at your current trajectory, you should arrive at the Omnos Trade Station with a little bit of fuel to spare uh, under 24 hours. And that very cool. That yeah, that is day to do things. Yeah. Okay, now what if you get ejected? So, <laughs> well, do you have... Okay, here's... So, so there's a couple of things with that. Mm. Do you have spacesuits on board? No. No, I don't, I don't think so, gang. Instant death. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, it, okay. You have, I would say... You start making constitution saving throws, and they're going to be pretty beefy. Anywhere from 20 uh, uh. to 25. Um, the constitution saving DC will increase every round. If you fail the save, you die. Okay. Oh, so. Who to wants cool. to risk it? <laughs> That's not so bad, guys. That's not so bad. Guys. Guys. Not so bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, I you think would, there's air in space turned I out. have a pretty good bonus to con. Yeah. 
Um, and it's not so much about holding your breath as it is your body just breaking apart from <laughs> space. I, mean, I just made a general intelligence check to see if I know anything about space, and no, I think it's just like on the surface. I don't. I, I think it's identical. <laughs> uh -huh. you're I die, think I can just walk out, open a door. <laughs> Tress, you're gonna die. Not open the door. <laughs> I'm gonna open a window. Yeah, or we, something. we probably need like an in-character like crash course on like what <laughs> is and isn't a good idea. Yes. Yes. That is that is what I would also recommend as well. I also don't know. And that's the thing. So all this information is just stuff I'm giving you as general, like, hey, this is kind of how the ship works as a player. Uh, uh. But you do all bring up a good valid point. Uh, none of you, from my understanding, have ever been to space, including your pilot. Zug, you have a basic understanding. You can plot courses and then kind of, yeah. I don't know, fuck around. But as far as proficiency bonuses go, specifically if you're firing from your uh, firing your ship turrets, you do not add your proficiency bonus. You do add your dexterity bonus to try and aim at the ship. Uh, but other uh, But other than that, you do not have a proficiency bonus applied so uh, all right everyone well i know one whoa. thing i'm pretty sure we can totally be fine if we crack open these windows a little bit i mean <laughs> we'll i saw my dad them down here. my dad's <laughs> floating out there no problem without a spaceship that's all i'm saying float right up into space all Wait, right do you guys see your tokens how are you guys able to do that uh i don't have mine i just pulled up my character sheet yeah. and i clicked on one of the things yeah oh, okay okay by pressing yeah, but uh, my, C, my macros you can open are not uh, on screen right now. Yeah, because your character's not there. All Aww. right, guys. I heard, I hear what you're saying. So let's go ahead and take off, and we're gonna go <gasps> over to your ship. We and you're flying, oh. baby. Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh my god! You slow down! Slow down! Slow down! <laughs> the F the FTL is cast away, and you guys are now flying over uh, to the trade station. Uh, you'll arrive under 24 hours. It's got to be this way. The navigation <laughs> says it right. Wait, right. No, over there it says it. <laughs> but you guys are currently zooming. Uh, if you wish to go downstairs, I have good news. Uh, downstairs is also included on this map. Uh, oh. So just let me know when you're going downstairs, and I will move your token oh. uh, to downstairs. Cool. There's things I urgently need to do first, Brett. Yes. Uh, uh, by the way, I, at, at, I will say long rest has been completed. Uh, so Yay. I, so all right, it, what, what kind of things? What kind of things are you doing? I did oh, a full four rolls. Let's for Mido, but... go. All right, so I'm going to load the Mito, Mito buddy. Uh, let's start looking at your features, and we're going to go from there. Subclasses. Oh, this one blows up. Maybe. That would be hilarious. <laughs> we'll start with 14. 14 is hindering. Any creature that moves out of Mitosis Buddy's melee range uh, must spend 10 feet of movement to do so. So this is the opposite of the slippery. Oh. It's Mido Buddy constantly has this uh, sticky. This sticky sludge around. Oh. Yeah. Uh, next up is 43. 43 is going to be swap places. As a bonus action, you can teleport, swapping places with your Mido buddy. That's a good one. Oh, wait, that's Excellent. Cool. That's a good one. Uh, next is 58. 58. <laughs> uh, Mitosis buddy's radiation blast now has the option to deal lightning damage. Epic. Instead, of, instead of radiation damage. And then finally, looks like we're doing pretty good here. Ooh, Radiation Sword. Mitosis Buddy Radiation Blast Whoa. can be used as a melee spell attack with a range of five feet. So now you can, now you can, uh, Mito Buddy can attack hey, in on melee. on my screen it says 66 is, I lose range on my, my Radiation Blasts. Did we look at different things or do I have an old sheet open? You might have an old sheet. We'll have to. We'll, we'll take a. We'll take a look later on. Well, radiation sword sounds way better, so I'm gonna lock that in. Uh, no matter what, no takesies backsies. I want to, but what if I want to takesies backsies? Like, what if I found <laughs> out I fucked up? I think you fucked up, my guy. That's I don't, but no takesies backsies. Uh, is the well, problem. You did say no takesies backsies, so. Oh, like well. You have to edit the old sheet now and change it so 66 is radiation sword and 68 is minus uh, fucking 60 feet of radiation blast range. 
Let me uh, let me see what's going on here. So 68, you said, correct? Uh, I rolled 66, not 68. Yeah, yeah 68 is my Tosis buddy can cast Radiation Blast as a melee spell attack instead of a ranged spell attack. My oh, I see. Yeah, I yeah. did fuck up. I fucked up. I fucked up uh -oh. real bad. Oh, you can take these backsies. It's cool. N uh, let's just say 68 because I don't want to go through all that. Yes! So, I'm right, locking that in as a rolled stat. That's yes! Six, that's 68. That's 68. Then. Huge! <laughs> Wait, you seem you seem really excited about like how we know. rolled over. Ah. I don't know about that. <laughs> My Tosis can cast Radiation Blast as a melee spell attack instead of a ranged spell attack. My Tosis buddy can cast Radiation as a, oh, it's literally I double copy paste it. Okay, epic. Yes, that works. <laughs> I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna call this Radiation Sword at 68. Cool. I see what happened. I, I see what happened now. Yeah, and it's all good. DM loses. Ah, DM don't. doesn't lose. Don't it's lose. all cool. I don't lose. Besides, if you had wanted me to take these backsies, I would have been a okay with taking these backsies. I, I know you would have. But also uh, that it would involve me looking through everything, and I just don't want to yeah. do that right now. It's so. a lot. There's a lot of numbers on the radiation mutation sheet. Oh yeah. For oh. Mito, there's a lot of shit going on there, chat. Can we get oh. Mito small, by the way? Oh, you would like a I don't small like, I Honestly, there. I would say it's always mandatory that he be small or the size of a gorilla and nothing in between. So I, uh, I respect that. I respect that. It's just a little intimidating when he's that big. Yeah. It's a little uncanny. There he goes. Big, Bing. big eyeballs. That's cute yeah. now. There we go. This Mito buddy looks absolutely normal. They move over to the edge of the glass. They seal their. They press their eyes up against the glass, looking at the, the rapid movement of space. Cute. Felsic points at it. Hey, yeah. why is that one sticky? You got a cold? Why is it? What do you mean? What do you mean, sticky? Sticky. Did you think he was sticky? Yeah, he's sticky. Uh, you sick? Bomb goes closer to Mido and tries to check if they're sticky or not. He turns around, holding a sword that's as big as him. Huh? Uh, whoa! The bomb tries to slip away, but he realizes the ground is sticky. And whoa, whoa, a whoa, 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 hey, careful, I'm driving here. <laughs> Flying? I don't... <laughs> like somebody dumped a fucking soda all over the floor. It's yeah, nasty in now here. That you now that you say it, there's this kind of radiating sort of stickiness about them. And they have a sword. Yeah. Around. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, is it... Would you prefer the ear again? I can get the ear back. <laughs> no, this one just... kicks ass. What if I like the ear? If you want the ear back, just let me know. Because I can <laughs> definitely get the ear back. The ear with the sword, though? Again. Like, at the same time? I could have the ear hold the sword with his ear hair. Um, <laughs> probably. But hey, yeah. so what's the rules for space? Because yeah, I, we gotta otherwise set up some I am going rules. to try to open a window. And I don't okay, know rule number one, mad. don't open windows. Why? Why? Because it... Because it's a, it's the vacuum of space. There's a difference in air but pressure. It'll suck everybody no out. There's no air. Fuck does that mean? Okay. So I, I don't know. I only rolled a sixteen. Uh, <laughs> is Mido running towards the door? <laughs> How thick is the glass? I'm going to swap places with Mido and make sure he wasn't going towards the door. Understood. No open holes. Okay. All right. So you're. Swapping this is so important. Yeah, I guess because uh, Mido just sprinted away. All right, uh, so you will teleport now uh, at the bottom floor. Ooh, okay, it looked like you threw me out of the ship. <laughs> I thought my... Uh, yes! I got him! I got your ass, too. I got him! <laughs> <laughs> and okay. that's how that works. <laughs> Mido, no going... No, no, stay near me. And the bomb's going to come back up the stairs. All right. Okay, rule number two. Um, where are we putting the toilet? We need to talk about that. That is important. We it is. There's a, there's a space under the stairs. Just put it there. Under this? That's not very enclosed. Well, no, there's like other stairs. Hold on. Just... I, you know, I honestly. <laughs> and also. Uh... You just get like a nice stinky reactor. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the way, you guys are free to move about the ship. Just FYI. Can I go downstairs? You can't go downstairs while you're in mid-flight. Yeah. 
Hey, Surely who's controlling it's fine. the ship? Mido. It's traveling. <laughs> I know uh, what you're thinking. <laughs> so in, 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 a, in a prior in a prior time, I would have asked you to jump on that seat, drive this ship. Uh, but, so but here not. here you are. You are currently downstairs. Okay. And you're free to explore about the 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 the, the cabin. Mm-hmm. I swear we had a room, right? Nope. Yep. Nope. And this place is pretty good. You do have room some empty the rooms. South. Uh, the south is your 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 back uh, cargo area. You have a little 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 uh, dining area over here. I remember this. Just, just, can I uh, can oh, I pop down there cute. with Zug? Yeah, sure. And leave Mido unattended in the uh, cockpit. Absolutely. Cool. Oh, fuck! I'll go babysit. That sounds fun. The bomb, to be fair, the bomb did say do not touch anything. Mm-hmm. He said he, no, she'll he stare tried. it down. Don't worry about it. Uh, Mido buddy is just waving their sword in the air. Okay, that's that, that's is, fine. He can do that. Is there only one bedroom? It's like I see three already. I believe there's three. Uh, three. <laughs> Oh, oh the, no, the we only rented window. a single hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the glass itself is thick enough to withstand the uh, force of space. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, finally. Home sweet home. You arrive over at the paste dispenser. Is there any paste in it right now? Uh, would you, you have to activate it. I mean, does the bomb? Let, can we? Is there some kind of role I can do for interfacing with technology that the bomb definitely does not understand whatsoever? I would say just a raw intelligence check, okay. and then I will, I will, I will let you decide if that's high enough. The uh, the nutrition dispenser is very easy to figure out, but I will leave it up to you. <laughs> you stupid. <What? laughs> My new bedroom. <laughs> Go on. The bomb says exactly that and then climbs inside the paste machine. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Wait, wasn't that our food? Cool. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. uh, Felsic, you're going to see a hey. giant red light pop up right <laughs> over there. All right. <laughs> Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh, Bo! It has like a weird code on the bottom of it. You're not really sure what it means because you didn't build this ship. Oh, okay. she. Um. <laughs> can Bo at this moment? Can I do like a check on my persons if I have any crayons or pens? Would you? Would you ever have had that what? on your person? I think so. I mean, I, I I whip out my little fan fiction book all the time. Then yes, you would have that. Okay, uh, Bo's left ear twitches when Felsec is asking for him, and then he moves to this, like, off to the side of the window onto the wall and sits down on his butt, takes out some of his crayons, and starts doodling, like, portraits of all of us on the side of the ship. Oh. Uh, okay. Zug, you'll hear from downstairs. <laughs> boop! 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 So I think the toilet will go, right? What? what? Boop! Uh, uh, she covers up the red light with both of her hands. She covers it up. <laughs> is is, is this noise the noise happening from where the bomb is when he tries to climb inside the machine? Oh, you don't hear it. You're in the machine. Oh, he doesn't hear anything. Okay, I want to make sure this wasn't like emanating from his like room. Nope. Okay. So I don't know I'm busted yet. Nice. Are you driving, Felsic? <laughs> oh, everything's fine. Right. Just let a bit of turbulence. Swashbucklers of space. You'll see as you move away, this red light over here is going off. Uh, can I can I intuit the purpose of this light? What system is down? Oh, well, it's been a minute, so go ahead and give me an intelligence check, but roll an advantage to see if you remember exactly what plugged what. I like to imagine, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but because you built this ship so fast, you just kind of attached wires to here. They're like, yeah, I'll remember this later. I'll remember <laughs> what's going on here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's learned by doing, you know? All right. Uh, and I do well. So you open up the panel and you look. You start sorting through the wires a little bit, and you will discover uh, that the <laughs> that the uh, nutrition, the 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 food processor, huh. is down. Apparently, there's a jam in it. Uh, the paste machine is broken. Hang on. 
What the controls? Starve out here. No, no, no. I, okay. I mean, I still have rations. And I go down. Okay. He said, "Drive the ship." Yeah. Yeah, I think he said that. Okay, let's see what I can do. <laughs> Drask. Hit it. <laughs> Drask, are you attempting to, to to fly the ship? Yeah, I'll sort of put my hand on the wheel and like move it a bit, like I'm driving. All right, give me a second. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta see here real quick. One second. Okay, there we are. Uh, so you're just kind of like moving the wheel around. You'll actually see the wheel. You'll feel the wheel is locked uh, since the trajectory has been set. Uh, you'll hear kind of like a, a muffled voice from over here that will say, "Unlock wheel." Hello. Un unlock wheel. <laughs> Who is that? Is it like a button or is it just a question of the AI? It's 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 literally just like a system stating that because you're trying to move it while the window is locked and in flight. Not Bo. advised. Unlock wheel? I think there's a little guy in here. Bo, like, oh, we are so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but the moment he heard unlock wheel, he like literally drops all of his pins and he's like just handfuls of crayons and all his tiny little fingers and he drops them. And he comes over to look at the at the, the front area. And he's like inspecting it with his little nose, like. Unlock yeah, wheel. Right? He goes, "Hey, Tuts, yeah, do it." <laughs> See, <laughs> this is great because I'm not going to get about whether she needs to call <laughs> Dad or not. Guys, <laughs> Unlock wheel. Yeah, do it. It's, it's not. Nice. An, it's not an AI. It's just it, the system. Do it, man. Uh, hey, hello. Paul doesn't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you will see uh, this light it, what, what the red hell? ooze o o oozing out of the food dispenser. You. I told them, uh, don't get in the weird crevices of the ship. And I start s smacking it and trying to like shake it, get the goo out. Oh, you'll feel this, the bomb. You feel this immediately. Oh no, we're already under attack. I should have known <laughs> this would happen. Do you say that out loud? Uh, probably mumbles it. Zug, you hear that. You hear what? mumbling coming from the food dispenser. Bum? Get out of the food. <laughs> How easy is it to hear from here, right? From within the food dispenser. Uh, right, ne right next to it, you can hear. Okay, Bomb's gonna poke his little his little eyeball head. His little extra little appendage what head. What are eyeball. you doing? Uh, I mean, well, well, I saw everyone else had bedrooms, and uh, you can just have one of the bedrooms. I do not sleep in a bed. You I don't sleep, sleep in, in the food I, either. I sleep in tubes. I sleep in tubes. Okay, well, we brought you a bucket. Zug, make a perception check. Bum, 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 bum. Perception. You can't hear what's going on upstairs. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Please get out of that. There's many other places. In fact, I will build you a place to stay. As long as you don't go in there. Meanwhile, oh, from upstairs. Unlock wheel? Little yeah, man, it. yes. It do said it. inadvisable. Like, it said Roll inadvisable. Like rolls into Zug's lap and he's like really ex and he like doesn't sit on it he like puts both of his little like bee raccoon feet on his on his like you're sitting down right Zug are you sitting down what are you doing I am not Zug <laughs> said it twice that's fucked up oh, yeah that's, fuck. that's fucked up he's right this <laughs> inadvisable unlock wheel what does that mean button? is there a button it's, that, it's like directions it? it's like saying you're not supposed to he said invisible like we could turn the ship invisible I mean no. there, are, there are buttons on the panel Okay, uh, uh, Bo jumps onto the panel, but carefully, carefully. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, add Whatever that detail. You say. <laughs> with his tiny tootsies, and he sniffs around the panel. Uh, as you jump, uh, this time, uh, perception zero or not, uh, Zug, you will hear the ship cannon going off. <laughs> I knew it. We were under attack. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get out of the food! All right, I'm out gonna... of the food. Let's. <laughs> Felsic's gonna grab the mito and grab the wall and white knuckle it. The 
<laughs> okay, so okay. before you said that, I was going to say the bomb teleports and swaps positions with Mido out of curiosity for what's Let's happening. Let's go. Upstairs. I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say. It. I'm gonna say that happens. So as you're holding on, as you're holding on to to to, to Mido, buddy, like just holding it against the wall. Uh, suddenly, uh, you will just be holding on to the bomb right uh, uh, with their neck right up against the wall. What's happening? Were you strangling my son? What the fuck? What's happening? Huh? Unlock wheel? Huh? Don't unlock the wheel! <laughs> yeah, throw it! Both like what? the wheel? thing with his tootsies all over the panel. Do it! Do it! Do it! Don't yeah, do it! it. I, do I, it! I throw Bo! I throw Bo off of the As fucking As you gun. run off, you'll hear her. Wheel unlock. And then the ship Whoa! starts shaking madly as you see Drask <laughs> holding on to the ship. And you'll just <laughs> inadvisable to pilot during FTL drive activation. Invisible now! <laughs> and it's just shaking violently. I, I would like to throw Bo off and no, also try to grab the wheel. You see if he can catch me. Can oh, like check? no. Yes. All right, I, yes. I, that, I did uh, say I would like to. Unarmed strike, please. Arm Arm strike. strike? Oh, yeah, that grapple. Be, that that is specifically for uh or athletics check. Yeah, make an athletics check, Bo, make an acrobatics check as you're trying to okay. move it. Uh the ship is now shaking violently currently, uh as Drask is at the wheel. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Alright, <laughs> that's three. Yeah, yeah. Five versus three. You grab Bo, you're able to throw Bo if you'd like. I throw Bo as far behind me as possible. Alright, Bo, you're gonna be thrown back ten feet to Felsic, who is strangling the bomb against the wall. Jurassic is currently at the wheel. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll one more fate roll. Okay, so Jurassic is holding on. The ship is shaking violently because he's attempting to pilot the ship while it's in mid jump currently uh and you begin to hear the scraping of metal uh as he's literally almost like driving uh, what i would describe as uh you're driving a car down a highway you go into a tunnel and you start turning the wheel against the tunnel wall uh that is what's happening as the ship you're watching the wheel as parts of the metal begin tearing apart as the ship is shaking violently stop i'm keeping it steady you you're doing nothing! Get <laughs> off the wheel! I, I'm gonna Let try to me hit go. the emergency no, stop. It's if not we can safe! And Please cut let the me warp. go. All right, <laughs> so you like are just. Mall. You're instantly shutting down the FTL. Yeah, um, I would rather us drift through empty space at like, you know, normal speed than be in FTL fucking doing whatever this is. Oh my fucking god. Okay, all right, all right. One moment. One moment, please. Uh oh. I like how so much of this was really as a direct result of us all rolling intellect rolls so fucking <laughs> yeah. bad 18 times a <laughs> one, <laughs> one moment, please. All right, so first things first, the ship is going to go ahead and take 14 points of damage. It's currently at 66 sweet. health out of 80. So sweet. Uh, second of all, uh, oh my god. Learning on the job. Oh my god. We got look fucking oh good start, you know? <laughs> All right. What, what do you mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, gang, we're gonna go ahead and take a small bathroom break. Uh we'll be right back. <laughs> oh, oh, that's always that's I'm always need, a good thing. Guys. I'm gonna need a few. <laughs> I'm, gonna, <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna need a few minutes. Gang, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. See you in a few. <laughs> <You're right back. laughs> Hello, Ionians. Our show is brought to you by our generous patrons through our IO Publishing Patreon. Get access to tons of homemade content from our talented team of writers, musicians, and artists, including magic items, custom encounters and mechanics, new subclasses, and more. Also, get access to MP3s of all of our D&D campaigns. While we cater to 5e systems, IO Publishing will be making compatibility for other popular TTRPG systems this year. Sign up today at patreon.com slash world of IO and join this fast growing Patreon. Support our shows and support our third party content, all for the love of TTRPGs everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be right back.
And we're back. Okay, so I had to <laughs> I had to do a couple of checks. Uh, so uh, with the FTL drive instantly turned off, uh, the ship is now just floating out in space as the FTL drive uh, has been shut down in a in the worst way you possibly could. So you're going to see a bunch of red lights flashing here. It is going to be pretty overwhelming to anyone that's looking at that. You're going to hear just a bunch of voices screaming that things are, are currently deactivated. Things are currently not working. And hold on one second. I'm going to... I have to do one more check. Let's see here. Ba, 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 da. Let's see now. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a lot of rolls, man. I I, I, I got I got Whoa. shit to check. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, oh, good. Oh, it's getting oh, worse. Oh, what good. does it mean? <clears throat> Uh, you will, so all, <laughs> God, okay, everything, okay, I've done all the rules, I have no other rules to make, so. He's just trying to make us lower our guard. Okay. <clears throat> you Wait, will, what the fuck is this music? all right, well, so you are currently idle in the middle of space from, from the actions that you all have taken. Uh, you're going to hear a bunch of voices scraping, but one voice you specifically hear, Zug, is the console scraping. Error. Error. Check admin console. Error. Error. Check admin console. And you're going to hear a bunch of voices just screaming at you at the cons uh, from the console. Like I said, red lights are flashing. A bunch of voices are currently screaming over at you. And... It, it's it's not good. It's 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 not good. But you're gonna need to investigate what's going on, um, because you are at this point uncertain what is or isn't broken currently. Okay, I would like to uh, compose myself, take a deep breath, and uh, check the damages here. Okay, uh, go ahead and give me a. Gif. You're gonna have to do some general intelligence checks. Uh, to see what exactly. We've been nailing those. Yes. Yes. Uh, st we still got roll. All the way for you, dude. Don't still worry. roll at advantage, though. Oh. Okay, we're good. Uh, so, first off, what are you trying to do? What's What's the first thing you're trying to do with everything that you've heard? What is I'm what trying are you, to what, determine yeah. what What all has happened? Okay. So. <clears throat> Getting back to my standing position now that we've done all that. Uh, you're going to go and open up the... Um, so the best way to do that is open up the administrator console. You're going to see a small panel with a screen that's going to pop up. You're going to type in some commands to pretty much do a diagnostic of what the heck is doing on the ship. What is fun is normally there would be subsystems that would tell you exactly what's wrong. Uh, but the ship is, is in such a whacked up disarray that you have to go to the back subroutines to see what is not working. Uh, it's at this point uh, that as you're looking at all this, you all are going to feel a little lightheaded. And that is when you recognize that um, Zug, the two systems that are currently down besides no. the FTL drive is the oxygen system <laughs> and the navigation. So Yo. <laughs> you are you have no oxygen currently. Wait, from pulling the e-brick? Uh, from well, your ship is a pile of junk, so it did it, 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 rude. Set, it, it set off some shit. Now, so you're feeling a little lightheaded, which means the ship still has oxygen remaining. Uh, it won't have it for long, and then you guys are gonna start suffocating, which means we're gonna have to look at constitution scores depending on what's happening. With the navigation system down, um, you have no idea where you are in space. Uh, fortunately, you're not far enough. You're you're not so far to Io that you can't see the planet. You can just turn around and fly back. But the good news is, from what you're seeing, is uh, these are things that can be turned on or patched up and repaired. They're not broken. They're not destroyed. They they can actually be fixed within the uh, within the ship itself. Uh, so it's time to get your tools and get to work and see if we can't get this ship up and running. Uh, now you here? 
Brett, I gotta oh. ask now while everyone else is feeling lightheaded, just so yes. the bomb can cross <laughs> that off. Does he feel lightheaded? No. <gasps> no. <sighs> what about both cool. radiation filled body? Oh, you still require oxygen to keep that body afloat. Okay. Well, we both really takes a look at everyone. Game. He Phew. looks at uh, Zug and he goes, Well, and he sits back down and starts drawing again. <laughs> All right, Zug. I clench my fist like the Arthur meme. <laughs> Thank God I was the... here to steal steer. That could have gone a lot worse. It went worse because of you. The bomb is going to... Nobody was thinking? steering. We didn't need someone steering. The wheel was locked. I'm Why did grab... you unlock it? What if I'm we, gonna... like, hit an asteroid? <laughs> just We're just going Don't in a touch straight anything line. Else. That's scary. Don't touch anything else. <gasps> the oh. bomb's going to walk up to... Uh, Zug, while he's storming over, he's just gonna be like, "Hey, I'm uh, I'm sorry about what happened uh, downstairs. I'm gonna go uh, get Mido before he does anything else to the fancy food thing. Uh, my bad." Zug just nods his head. He's not opening his mouth. And the bomb's gonna go get Mido. Okay, All so right. you're great. So let me go over back to the uh, this scene. So we can get you moved over. You're gonna go ahead and walk downstairs, uh, returning back to the uh, quote-unquote scene of the crime. Uh, boop. Uh, what are you currently doing? So this crystal right now is glowing a uh, a pretty violent red, uh, suggesting that something within the power the, the, something is broken within the within the power supply. The power chains are not connecting uh, too well. So. Uh, you, if you'd like to diagnose, uh, you can use your engineer's tools for that. Yeah, I'm guessing we're going to need power to make the oxygen work. So might as well start here. Okay. Go ahead and use your your tool check. That's an at one there. Oh, oh okay. boy. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and <laughs> you're going to start picking a, a, a around over there. I have to make another roll. Oh boy. Okay, so as you're sapping away over at the the power supply, uh, you're gonna see a feedback loop sort of pss, sort of spark, uh, sort of spark away over there, and you're gonna see some of the power just just deplete immediately. And now it's slowly starting to deplete. I need another tools check for you to try and stop the energy supply from emergency evacuating all of the energy from the power shard. That's epic. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you begin picking, and you'll see you'll see exactly what's happening, uh, and you use that tool check to to stop it. So the energy levels are starting is are not draining, um, but you may have to activate your FTL drives in a safety mode, uh, meaning it it goes into a fuel conservation mode. Um, so you are able to get to your to farther destinations. Uh, however, it will take double the time to get there. Your one day trip has now turned into a two day trip unless you wish to turn back to IO and refuel. The problem with that is your ship is not registered or authorized by the Ionian <laughs> ship authority, which means unless you pay uh, a fine, get your registration you cannot use ionian ports to refuel and that is what you're beginning to realize right here so um nothing's been fixed the only thing that stopped was the mishap that you had with the uh the power supply if you'd like to continue your work to try and get the oxygen working again or the navigation to see what exactly how something broke down you are free to make another tools check all right Sound like there's a ton of choices. We could just let the oxygen bleed. Kill that'd you. Be, that'd just be funny. Calm down. Everybody take while, a deep breath. While, <gasps> while this is happening, it's just yes. relevant because uh, if the bomb was up there, he would be casting a spell on Zug to help him. Uh, I'd like to at least go get Mido and make yeah. sure they haven't done anything. So you're going to watch as Mido's mouth is currently on the nutrition paste uh, area, and it's just... Hold on one second. Okay. Fate roll. Oh, you're good. So he's just trying to suckle uh, at the nutrition <laughs> paste dispenser. Fortunately, it's not on and nothing's coming out. Mido, come on. We need to, uh, we need to get upstairs. 
No, no food right now. Mido gives you sad eyes. Go on now. Double time. Mido begins moving. All right, so you guys are going back upstairs. Uh, the bomb will arrive back upstairs after this third check is made. Uh, so go ahead and make another check, uh, Zug. All right. With a 15 roll, you will recognize that the issue with the oxygen supply is, simply put, there is no power being directed to it. The oxygen supply is fine. Uh, with this tool check, uh, you are able to re, uh, <laughs> you're able to channel the power power over to j have the oxygen supply energized again. Uh, would you like to do that now? Yes. All right. <laughs> Everyone's lightheadedness begins to die down a little bit. You guys are getting oxygen back in the ship. You're feeling pretty, you're, 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 you're breathing in fresh or somewhat fresh uh, air at that point. So now... Uh, suffocation is not an issue that you have to deal with. Uh, as you tap into the uh, system itself, I'm going to make one more roll about the state. Okay, good. Uh, you will immediately recognize that it was a power flux issue uh, that just knocked navigation and oxygen outline. With the check that you made previously, you can immediately turn back the, uh, you can immediately turn on navigation if you'd like to do that. Yeah. I'll do All right now. Uh, you've got navigation and you've got oxygen back online. Now, the problem is uh, you're going to need to go ahead and do a check on the FTL drive. You can try and turn it on right there, but if any damage has been dealt and you attempt to deal, if you attempt to turn on the FTL drive, uh, it may cause a cascading error through the uh, through the FTL drive, uh, damaging it further if it's already been damaged. You are uncertain of the status of the FTL drive currently, and that would be located downstairs. Yeah. Uh, so as the bomb rounds the corner here, you see Zug wipe some sweat and then grab his tools and put them back into a little pouch and start to get up from his kneel. Okay. What? Uh, the bomb's not going to say anything, but he's going to cast uh, Enhance Ability on Zug. Oh. All right. Uh, intelligence. intelligent intelligence. All right. Okay, so now you will have with the enhance ability. Uh, we're doing cats. No, we're doing Fox's cunning. All right, with Fox's cunning, you will now have advantage on all intelligence based checks. Uh, you begin to walk downstairs. Whoop, whoop. And we'll head on over here. Uh, you'll start walking down. You'll see uh, a little bit of damage over to the, some parts of the sides of the ship, but the hull is intact. Yeah. Uh, Which side? You said we were, like, clashing against the side. Which side of the ship was that? Uh, you, hmm. Go ahead and make a perception check just to get a general uh, feel of where you were feeling the heaviest drag. Okay. Uh, the right side of the ship is where you were feeling the most pressure, the intense pressure. Grumbled to self. All right. And then down there will be uh, the engine along with the FTL attachment. Go ahead and if you'd like, make a tools check to do a general diagnosis of, of what's happening in here. You have advantage. And you okay, do nope. have advantage. Shift click. All right. Uh, you will see <clears throat> that, and this is where I do a lovely little roll here. Good news. The FTL drive is mostly unharmed. You're probably going to want a technician to take a look at this because this may cause problems down the road. But as of right now, you feel confident um, that by doing another check, uh, you can get the FTL drive working again and then go back to the cockpit and, yeah, start start going. All right. I'll give it one last, uh, one last go here, then. Uh, yep, you'll begin to, to pick at some, where some of the connections have severed. Uh, so there are some burnt parts to the FTL drive uh, when the emergency shutdown happened. And you just begin fixing all of these little pieces and bobs and parts. And then the crystalline, which is this sort of like deep red color to suggest that something is wrong, uh, you will see it return back to its blue. And with that, you feel confident that the ship is back in working order. All you have to do is go into back to the console, uh, set a course, 
and uh, get going. That's not all I have to do, Brett. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> Here it comes, gang. I'm going to find a uh, simple piece of wood or scrap metal in here, oh, please. No. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone's oh, no. Something I'm flat. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Dad's got the wooden spoon. <laughs> He's making a freaking paddle, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> All right. So what, what, are you, what, are we, what are you looking for currently? Something flat? I'm looking for a, a flat piece of scrap, whether it be wood or metal. You find metal. Okay. I want two pieces, please. All right. You find two oh. pieces. I'm going to slap one down right here in front of this door to yep. the engine room. And I'm going to yep. scrawl, like, fucking scrape into it, scrawl across it. Do not enter. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to take the other one upstairs. Fair. <laughs> A fair thing that probably should have been done long before now. <laughs> All right, you begin your ascent back but upstairs. Who can read? You're gonna yeah, watch. Who can read? You're gonna watch <laughs> as Zug walks upstairs with a piece of metal in, in scraping in his it hand. along the floor, probably. <laughs> yeah, like he he looks upset as he travels, and he's gonna go to this room, and do the same thing. Do not. Enter and just attach it to the wall via some, some light welding and or screws, whatever he has, and just slap it on there. Okay. You, you, you get it welded on. Bomb All right. Me up. You weren't involved. I wasn't involved. No, I got bad news. I was kind of. Everyone. What? Yeah, Listen I was, up. I was in the food. Oh. It turns out I thought I thought it was a bad. Are you hungry? I was, I didn't know it was food. I said, that's oh. enough. <clears throat> we yeah. are in a delicate spaceship. The only thing separating us from that, and he points out to just the void of space, <laughs> is this ship. And there are many ways to compromise it. And I am begging you to not get us all killed by being foolish. And touching things you shouldn't be. Yeah, that was my bad, man. I, I heard you say, uh, watch the ship. I thought that meant, like, steer and watch that we don't crash into shit. But like, I, di I didn't know it could drive on its own. Sorry. He very casually walks up to Zug. And he looks up at him. And puts his hands up near him with little raccoon fingies. And just starts doing, like, an uppy gesture. No sound. That just Sorry. looks down. He doesn't make any move. He just keeps doing it. You were both being reckless. You weren't being careful. It, 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 you were being stupid. Bo tugs at his uh, Zug shirt. What? Makes an uppy gesture with his little fingies. Shakes uh -huh. his head. Ah! Uh, Just shakes his head, and he turns oh. away. Drask. Yeah. Can I have my seat back? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Wait, I can't move. Uh, oh, Raccoon rolls away. I can't move my... Oh. From now on... There's so many walls, I can't move anywhere but here. <laughs> we trade places. Okay. From now on, I'm the only one that touches this console. And unless Zug. I'm dead or incapacitated, huh? don't Zug. touch the buttons. You will see a yellow light flashing in front of you. With I a didn't do that in one. Front of it. No sound, just a little, little buzz. Little bzz, 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 bzz. Uh, you recognize this hmm. as the communication device, specifically when someone is trying to communicate with you. Oh, 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 wait, wait, out here? And then he kind of like scrambles, like kind of sits up straight. Like, I don't know if anyone ever like yeah. sits up more straight when they're about to take an important phone call, but like, mm -hmm. you know, kind of gets himself ready, presses the button. <clears throat> Hello, this is the ticket. 
you'll you'll see a uh, you know that that little speaker that you know bus drivers have that little the little micro the little uh, what do you call it walkie talkie mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that that is what your ship has and that's typically what old like 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 not old I apologize uh more less technological advanced ships will use to communicate with each other and so you'll say you know this is the ticket uh you'll hear uh to the other side you'll hear Yo! Uh, you okay? Y- yes. Who? Um, this is the ticket, Artificer class uh, spaceship. Um, we read you. What is your the purpose um, of great, your uh, communication? Oh no worries. We saw you stranded in space. See if you need any help. So uh, don't say over when you're done. Oh, over. Good job. Good job. Right. So. Like what's going on? Um, we had a an incident on board, but it's all clear and we're good. Oh, that's a shame. Did you look over everything? Yeah, yeah, we did. We I checked it all, all green except for okay. this yellow. Stand by. But what? Who are you? <laughs> oh, I. A ship blaster will hit you. Huh? And now I need everyone to roll initiative because a pirate is trying to board your ships. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, I don't know how I forget where initiative is. A seven. Felsic. Uh, for some reason, everything rolled twice. Give me one second. I'm going to delete this oh. encounter, and we're going to try that again. All right. Oh, it is roll. Oh, I know why it's rolling everything twice. Okay, one second, please. <laughs> Man, I got to go. Uh, the next, the times. fifth initiative roll, I'm going to roll really <laughs> bad. You know. <laughs> oh, let's keep this one. <laughs> Hold, hold the I phone. see two of me again. Dude, you can't, I, can't, I can't keep rolling above <laughs> fucking 10 forever. Come on. <laughs> Look, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Oh, that's why. Because there's two tokens. So they're going to. Okay, oh. okay. So this is what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to roll. This is going to be the last roll. Okay. I was just making sure the bomb would roll below 10. Damn. It. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. what were you making sure of? Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Why, did I, why did I say that, dude? <laughs> All right. I never rolled this good on this. <laughs> so. Uh, the ship will blast. You will see a ship blasting you. You're currently a sitting duck, which means your AC is 10. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to be good. You're going to feel the impact. And your ship's going to take an additional five points of damage. Just stand still. You're being boarded. Can you, add, fr- can you tell us from where? You're going to board us? Just wondering? <laughs> Come on. Uh, the bomb, what are you doing? Uh, well, first the bomb asks that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the micro, the, uh, the, 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 the intercom is, is, cur- are you holding the intercom on? Uh, I wouldn't have been pressing it just when he happens to have said that. Probably. Okay, so when well, you, when you say that, there if, is no response. If you say it, yeah. If you make it. Clear. Maybe I could. Re- I don't know. I could I use my reaction to press it. <laughs> no, it's fine. I mean, if, if you're intending to press it so that the bomb can respond, uh, so we'll say you do that for the response. Uh, there is no response back. Does the bomb see the other ship from here? Go ahead and make from a perception top. check. This will take your action to like look around to see where this ship will be. Okay. I will attempt to proceed. That's okay. Fun. Yeah, as you start like scrolling around trying to see what's going on, um, yeah, you can't find the ship. You're uncertain where it is. You don't even know if you're right side up currently. The well, ship. What it, I yeah. know at the very least is that from like, is there at least the logic that I can pull that it's not directly in front of us because I would we have a giant fucking window in front. That of is us? correct. That is okay. that is a good logic. Yep. All right. Um. Well, I don't have like many things to do on a ship without us having like some kind of hardware Mm -hmm. but the bomb does know that 
he didn't feel lightheaded when oxygen started to go off, right? That's pretty pog. Oh. That is oh. pretty pog, isn't it? Uh, so I'm going to have... I'm going to spend my bonus action uh, to instead take control of Mido. I want okay. Mido... Because, like, we... We have, like... This ship has... To my knowledge, like, wasn't, like, th there are parts of it that weren't perfectly sealed, right? Like, this is, like, there's, like, a, sh like, the way I was perceiving yes. it was that, like, there was kind of, like, a shield that's, but like, it, like, holding in, like, like, there, there are parts of the ship where Mido could slip out the same way I could slip out into open space, right? Uh-huh. I want Mido to fucking get out there and start floating towards the ship if they can see it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Mido will sort of be, it just kind of like you'll watch. This will take the full. I'm gonna, round, I'm gonna the watch way. it from the window. Yeah. Mido's gonna start squeezing through the corner as you're just gonna watch as Mido tries to escape out of the ship to start floating around out there. Okay, uh, that will end your round because that will take some time. Zug. So Zug, welcome to ship combat. It's really unfortunate that you started while your ship was off. Go ahead and turn the ship back on. That will take an action. Being oh. on the, while you're on the control panel, uh, and if you're doing nothing else, you can use two uh, ship actions uh, to control the ship. Uh, certain actions that you can do includes firing with your weapon, moving the ship uh, to a different range, uh, turning on the FTL engine, turning on the shields. Uh, these are all things that you're able to do. Uh, if you would like to try and go into a uh, instant combat maneuver, all you'd have to do is to activate the ship with one action and then attempt to uh, move with another because, unfortunately, you are starting this while the ship is off. <clears throat> now, that is an option. Yes. But perhaps... Mm -hmm. Perhaps what I'm thinking is we can just convince them to board, you know, peacefully, and then kick their ass in person, because our ship is fucked, and we are fresh and ready to go. So... It's your turn. Do whatever you'd like. God, there's a part of me that thinks, like, trying to fight a space combat would be much worse than just letting them board and then killing well, them. Well, that's why I was, like, trying to figure out what where they were, like, going to board, yeah. but I couldn't see the ship, which is why at least if well, Mido gets out of the ship, they'll have a better chance of get seeing Get to the it. control room eventually. Hmm. Hmm. Is there I'm any gonna, questions uh, that you have or anything you'd like to do? Please yeah. Email. Could I call back on the intercom? Absolutely. Okay. <clears throat> uh, before I do that, I look around at the group and I go... Oh, this is really bad. The ship's not in good shape. I think we should lay an ambush for them. Let them board us, and then we take them. And then maybe we can take their ship, too. I was... Ooh. I sent Mido outside of the ship. If they get onto the, our ship, I'll have Mido steal their ship. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. All right, everyone quiet. Beep. Okay, okay. We'll we'll comply with your demands. Please don't shoot us anymore. Um, we'll let you board, and you can take all our cargo. Just don't kill us. <laughs> That's right. Remember what Gob did to you today. <laughs> what was, all right, boys, get him in. What was the name? Gob. 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 Uh -oh. <laughs> of course, it's Gob. Your name is Gob. Little goons. I, I I had released. I don't after. think the bomb understands how microphones work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Everyone, get ready. Make sure your shields are down. My ship is off. I I, I said that. <laughs> hey, don't try anything silly now. All right, boys, get them. All right. That is the end of the round. Um. Or is there anything else that you like to do? Honestly, the speaking yeah. thing would be free. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, like, stand up from the controls to look a little less, like, ready to go. And just kind of, like, you know, hands in the air, kind of. Of course, I still have all my equipment on. And Actually, you know what I'll do? <laughs> I'm gonna drop uh, a pistol on the ground, uh, the shard pistol, and, like, a metal bar that is my weapon, the club. 
I'm just gonna be like, oh, that's my weapons. You got me. <laughs> All right. He's All right. so smart. Yeah, that's boom. All right, Drask, what are you doing? Ah, uh, Drask is just gonna go over Get here. Get ready, buddy. Yeah. Sort of prop his arm on the chair. He's trying to look as unmenacing as he can. Uh, but I mean, he's a buff giant purple orc with an eye patch and two giant horns. It's not an easy thing to do. But like he's just gonna wait. Down on your side or something. That'd be. <laughs> that'd make you look pretty much harmless. I mean, I don't want to lay down. I still want to like run in there I mean, and like, stab them when they get here. Maybe like. Can they hear it? Maybe you like, say that. Uh, maybe if you got. Maybe you did like a handstand. That's not very intimidating. I'm doing a handstand. You'll hear from over the speaker. Hey, boss, the uh, teleporter thing ain't working the way. Did we get that update thing? Yeah, we fixed it. Don't worry about it. Just go through. Oh, oh good. no. <laughs> oh, boy, these guys. <laughs> <laughs> these fucking goons. It's hey, us. Hey, hey, boss, I think your, your elbow's leaning against the button. Shit! And then he just here, just immediately shut down immediately <laughs> at that point. Huh? Maybe right, we Dress. got lucky, and someone as incompetent as us is attacking us. That would be truly remarkable, to be perfectly honest. Bo. Well, I don't know where they'd be entering the ship. So, I imagine they might be coming from the bottom. So Bo's going to move in front of the stairs, if I can. Okay, go for it. Eh. Eh. And he's just going to sit on his bottom. Okay. Kicking his feet. Belsic. Uh, She's going to post up over up against this wall. Gonna, it doesn't seem like this attack is happening very urgently. Uh, but she'll just... This is all happening within six seconds, so they are. Uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah, they got a lot of time to park and yeah, get ready. Yeah, to... for sure, for sure. And, and just wait there. All right. Uh, the, the speaker will go off and be like, Yeah, I didn't say anything. Anyways, we're coming aboard. Don't do anything weird. All right, we're really excited to see you. <laughs> I just kind of shrug at the bomb. <laughs> All right. So. This is where I get to roll some fun stuff. Uh, one, two. Th- God damn. Okay. Back. Ah, what do you mean? Unsolved stream. You know what? Oh, I rolled it twice. One second. One, two, three, four. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna see an alert go off over here on the console, uh, and it's right next to another code. You immediately know this as someone's teleporting into your ship, uh, and they are. It, it, it's a forceful teleport. Someone's trying to board your ship, and you have not given the authority for them to do that. Uh, let's see here. So, we're gonna start with the four. Four's gonna go here. And from what you can tell from everything that messed up, uh, because this is a safe assumption, uh, they're all teleporting in random spots of the ship, uh, because their teleporter is malfunctioning. So... Oh, how coordinated. So, they're gonna... There's one there. Fascinating. One there truly an incomprehensible strategy one's there and you're just gonna hear from downstairs <laughs> i knew it you're gonna hear from downstairs you're gonna hear uh, hey blats slaws you, where where the heck are you guys is it just me oh god please don't let it just be me all right all right so time to roll some initiative Okay, now that is our initiative. All right, so with that, new actor five thirty nine, dude. I'm scared of him. Wait, is there an actor nine there? I see one of their names is new actor five three nine. Yo, that's pretty pod. 
<laughs> oh no, that one is. Uh, That's let what me, he was uh, called. Yeah, let me. Uh... That's what I want all my accredited roles to be in any fucking <laughs> acting I ever do. <laughs> His name is Krabs. Oh god. All right. Oh, sorry, chat can't see uh, the initiative. Apologize, chat. One, two, three. I'm just doing some quick movement. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here. So I'm going to pop this out. Grabs is going to go. All right, the bomb. It's up to you now. What are you doing? The bomb. So the bomb sees the hull that Mido just went through. Right? Yes. I'm, I'm going about to, use, to go through, yes. Because Mido, Mido is able to move and do basic stuff that's not combat. With correct. As long as they take a dodge action. action. That is yeah. correct. So um, I'm going to use my bonus action to also periscope my own appendage out of the ship. Okay. Because I can do 10 feet of that. So I want to get this. I want to, like, basically get my eyes out of the ship to go follow ahead and give me, Go ahead and give me another perception check, this time at advantage, as you're looking around to see where the heck this ship might be. Um. It's a 12. All right. Uh, so with the assistance of the Mido buddy and yourself as you're just scrolling using your eye looking around, uh, you will see a small ship uh, off in the distance. It looks to be in worse uh, in, a, in a worse uh, spot than your ship. Okay. How much distance? Uh, not moving distance. You will need a ship to get over there. Okay, so it's farther not, it's not, than it's like... not air, Yeah, it's not a, an area that's going to get there. Unfortunately, uh, you would be unaware of how far the distance is uh, since ships kind of work on their own uh, movement scale that trying to like float over there will take a considerable amount of time. Uh, it will probably take you, if you're going out in space... It, ooh, well, I mean, think about minutes. like this. This is, this is a thing that I actually wanted to ask you about. Because yes. Mido doesn't breathe. If Mido radiation blasted behind them the same way you could use a fire extinguisher in space going in the opposite <laughs> direction of you, like uh -huh. a small booster, you could uh -huh. build up speed. Now, you wouldn't be able to break <laughs> your speed very easily, but you could build it up, right? One moment, please. So we're going to say two, one, and I'll do if you're doing blast, blast, blast. Uh, yeah, you can get there. Uh, you, Mido Buddy could get there in a matter of rounds. Uh, what you'll start seeing, however, is Mido Buddy will need to make a Constitution save while in the vacuum of space. Okay, so they so like they don't have to breathe, but they're taking like damage from like how like, they're, the, the, they're, the coldness, they're, like the the environmental. Yeah, the, yeah, the environment it. itself, as you're like peeking in and you're starting to feel it in the stock as well. You're watching right now as the tiny little Mido buddy, which I'm just going to move over here so you can see it, um, is starting to turn a little blue. So I need Mido buddy to make a constitution saving throw, please. Okay. Well, this is all very good things to test. You know? This is, yeah, this no, this is, is this, good, is, this is, this is, this is good. Time. This is good. Uh, constitution save for Mido, hang on. I actually need to turn the corner to see him far enough to. No, it's all good. The, I, the uh, I could roll it for you, but I know how you feel about That's that. That's a ten. Whoa. All right. So you're gonna watch as Mido starts floating around. Uh. Oh, that's so sad. Mido starts twitching uncontrollably and then just stops as it just oh. immediately freezes. You watch as this Mido buddy oh. begins circling around uh, in space and begins just sort of floating away. That was away. fucked up. <laughs> I do not know how space works. As you pull the stock, you'll actually see the edge of it is also starting to freeze over. Oh. Yeah, I would like to retract that. It's not a bonus oh, action or anything yeah. to take yeah, that. Yeah, you're back. good. You retract it. Good to know that uh, I don't have to breathe, but I do need to care about the temperature. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that makes sense. That's good to know. Uh, I'm going to, I guess, kick back in this corner. I don't want to spend my last spell slot on anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Salute to my boy. <laughs> You'll hear a yell from over the speaker. You'll just hear, You! Did you throw any of my people out in space? No, that's my son. You're I, the, <laughs> the bomb says just... without pressing the microphone. <laughs> I, I, I'll reach over and press it for him. Say, say it again. Uh, my son just fell out of the ship. Actually. 
Yeah, that's not one of yours. Hey, I'm having a bad day. Do you guys think we couldn't do a pirate invasion anymore? I'm still holding, so yeah. This, I no, I need a minute. I'm processing. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that one, champ. <laughs> you gotta make the most of what you have out here, King. Okay. Okay, give me, <laughs> motherfucker. Give me a pers- <laughs> give me a persuasion check at advantage. <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. That's a knock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> Zumaido just. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean your son's out there? I thought I'd send my son out through the uh, hole in the hull so he could break onto your ship and steal it, but he oh, no. died. He died. He died. Oh, no. He died. Uh, you and... sent your son out. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I do. Why did you do that? Because I don't have to breathe, okay? Because I don't have to breathe. Now and then I, I thought that roll. maybe I the vacuum of space was fine. I need you to roll an intimidation check, this time at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a 26. Oh my god. <laughs> Mido continues to drift. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get through this. Okay, all right. <laughs> My mind can only process so much. You'll hear downstairs. Hey, what did he say? <laughs> he sent his son out? Why the fuck did he do that? <laughs> hey, I think this might be some kind of prison ship or something filled with psychos. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Sorry, this is just... <laughs> All right. We'd like to negotiate terms! That sounds... <laughs> I, I, too, would love to negotiate terms. What do you propose? Release our men! We'll let you go! <laughs> Currently... On, it's, taking, it's taking everything I got to say no to you. <laughs> We can drive a stiff bargain here. Gobbs' team currently want? thinks that one of your crew members pushed out a small boy <laughs> with, by the way, no fucking remorse. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're all like, we are on a bad ship. We'd like to go now. <laughs> so more <laughs> morale... <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, do any of you on our ship have money? What? Yeah, I'm no. worried. No, not, not you guys. The bottom was trying to talk to the goblin. Oh. On the <laughs> Did you send anyone onto our ship with money? Yeah, we, we could tell them to drop their possessions. Yeah, make, it, make them drop all their stuff. Okay. Um, I'll let them know. Okay. Boys, drop your guns. Drop everything. Just leave it there. Look, we don't have any credits, but oh, we got connections. Okay. Are you well, are you, are you looking for him. are you looking for work or something? Work, work. Yeah, are that's we, cool. Are we looking for work. Also, what we, we, have yes. we have gas. And we also want gas. And a brand new ship, a big ship. That okay. Fits this ship into that ship. I saw their ship. It's we don't want that one. So we're not gonna oh, ambush okay. and kill them all. No one. I don't think that's the plan. Okay. Sits in chair. So while this conversation is happening, you're immediately just going to hear everyone downstairs shuffling all their equipment. And then you're going to hear from you're going to hear from the speaker. <laughs> oh my fucking god. You're going to hear from the speaker. Oh, we don't we don't have much fuel. Like we're trying to get over to the station. We're refueling there. I I I I got to I got to no, 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 no. Okay, hold up. Do it. Have you heard of the legendary outlaw Desperado? Uh, have we? Have we? Uh, no! I'm new here. No. Uh, that's okay. 
He died, but he's back now, and he's really cool. I'm sure he could use some muscle like you guys. We got a big score coming up. We need all the manpower we can get. You might be the one. I can make an introduction for you. Uh, do we have anything to lose? Hey, wait, wait, wait. No, hey, we don't got shit. Uh, make the wait. introduction. Hey, tell them all you should pay for our gas. I think that's what they did by dropping all of their stuff. Yeah, they didn't oh, no. kind of pay for it. No, 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 no. Pay for gas. They don't have money. Pay <laughs> for gas. Well, then how are they, they paying for money. their gas? Hey, how? Hang on. How are you guys gonna pay for your gas? I'm not pressing the button. What are you press the I button. I don't understand how this works. All right, I've been focusing on negotiation. Press the button. How are they paying I, for the gas? I press the button. Um, how are you paying for the gas if you don't have any money? By the way, Desperado's got connections. Uh, we got a secret port that we land over at the station. Uh, we're kind of wanted by the law. We have. We have fuel supplies. Uh, we can refuel you once you get back to the station. We can make that part of the payment for the big deal. Yeah, see, I told you. Ooh, we might we be wanted too. We should gifts. land there, yeah. This yeah. sounds like a good deal. That's a good yeah. deal. We'll, hey, send your guys back and we'll yeah. travel with you to the station. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We can teleport them back. We don't want to be too much of an issue. <laughs> Fussick's going to grab the walkie-talkie. She's going to hold the button. All right, just don't forget what happened here, okay? Thank you for your mercy. We we, we will never forget. Wait, that wait, poor wait. boy. Wait, <laughs> boy, wait, wait. boy makes yeah, grabby raccoon hands that fell sick. Really grabby hands, grabbing, grabby, grabby hands that fell sick. She, she frowns. She frowns and hands come the walkie-talkie over. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 come on, mama. I won't yeah, say yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, come yeah, yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she Okay, she he like she grabs it really hard. And in the distance, with one lasting touch of the button, just goes. <laughs> Fuck, that was good, Bo. Bad, thanks, man. Uh, and with that, you will hear a ship jump <laughs> with their FTL drive. <laughs> uh, you will be, uh, and then you will see instructions detailed to you. Oh my fucking god! I can't believe this is happening. Uh, where? That's that's D and D, baby. Uh, so, you'll be given detailed instructions of how to arrive at the Omnos Trade Spedation, specifically uh, at the uh, unofficial port to the Omnos Trade Station, uh, and how to, uh, essentially, the coordinates that you need to jump into so that the Io Ionian Authority will not see a ship jump in. So, oh, you're, you, cool. you're going the unofficial way. Oh. Um, because nice. and then and here's what you were gonna discover, but you seem to you bypass that altogether, which is oh. awesome. Once you arrive at, at near the Omno Station, the Ionian Authority would have reached out to you. It's like, hey, we recognize that your ship is registered. <laughs> you know, you can't land here. We could register the ship, but it's gonna cost all this stuff. Um, so you're gonna have to figure out another way onto the trade station, and you effectively <laughs> figured out how through the threat of violence. And that will end the encounter. <laughs> hey, Ooh. is there a way that we can kind of scoop up my son's <laughs> remains? No. <laughs> no. What do you mean, why? Look at him out there. It's, well, it goes back yeah, over to the like sad, wall but... where he was coloring and just colors in like a dead Mido buddy floating above all the other characters. You know what's oh. kind of beautiful about Mido buddy out in space is that uh, because he's frozen, he's not going to decompose. It's just going to be preserved in a beautiful yeah. This one might be eternal forever. Okay. You think maybe Weird if it dark. gets warmer, he'll thaw. Good job, okay. I, don't think, I don't think that's how it works. Hey, I think I'm just going to spend an hour just making a new one and just kind of chalk this one up to be an L. <laughs> you know what I mean? This was an L day. This was an L, but I think I turned a little bit of it into a victory. Yeah. A V. The bomb gives no, a mean, L to a V. <laughs> nice uh, work. Now move. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I start inputting... Beep, 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 boop, boop. Can the someone coordinates... teach me how this thing works? Bomb points to the microphone. Oh, so you <laughs> press the button and you talk into it. Cool. I, I think I, people I, think I'm scary. I should do this more often. This talking to that thing. 
So you're pressing the buttons, uh, you're setting the coordinates, are you taking According, off? as per instructions, yes, to get All to the secret right. place. Alright, here oh, wait, we go. where's their free shit? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get it prepped. Oh yeah, the bombs ho I totally forgot about all the shit I made them drop. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab my, my gun and my my metal bat or whatever off the floor. My little club. Alright, you're taking off. Holy oh, shit. Oh, he's still coming with us. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's going faster than light. Uh you know, flat on the ship. Actually, what actually what is happening because of the speed that you're currently going on, you have created an artificial orbit, which means the corpse of this Mito buddy is currently Spinning. circling around the ship. This this is the first time you might get to see this. As an hour passes, a new Mito will be made that has the same traits. What happens to the body of that one? Uh, you will just see it. Day. You will just see the body shatter right in front of you before oh. as the new uh, Mito is regenerated. No uh. one talk about what happened out there. And, uh, yeah, you're just gonna watch. Uh, this Mido was doing pretty okay. Um, and now you're gonna look into their eyes. They're not certain what has happened in their life or their previous life, but there is definitely some trauma within those eyes. <laughs> hey, if you need a break, there's a chair right there. Uh, Mido buddy takes you up on that and just sits on the chair, stares so out like in space. turns around, he wackling rolls, and he was like, Hey, yo, what? I just saw you outside. I thought you were dead. The eyes just stare off into the distance. How do you nothing, get inside? Nothing could be said. Huh. Well, leave him alone. Huh. Crazy. Uh, all right, so Drask. They will have successfully dropped all their weapons. You will nice. find four short swords, four shard pistols, four potions of healing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, and one of them, let me look around real quick. Need to find. Uh, one of them ha has explosive vials on them. Uh, oh, God. Specifically that of uh, how many explosive vials was it? One moment, please. Oh God. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, you're gonna see, I'm actually gonna roll a D20 for this. 18 explosive vials on their person. <laughs> here's, the, here's the fucked up wow. part about that. Uh, they count as finesse weapons <gasps> and light. Huh? Hmm. Which means you can apply sneak attack to these explosives. Okay, okay. Huh? Huh. Pocket these real okay. quick. That's pretty cool. Yep. And uh, you take off and continue your journey over to the station. And uh, yeah, I think that's where we're gonna end today's session of, <laughs> of, of pipe dreamers. Oh, dang. What the okay. what the fuck? <laughs> Just a little crash course, <laughs> you know. That was great. Holy shit. I <laughs> missed this now so guys. mechanics and mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> calculated. I was like, this is gonna be perfect. We're going to do spaceship tutorial combat. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> tutorial skips. That's okay. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities. Oh, oh, holy listen, shit. Listen, man. It's really hard to go in a straight line, okay? Well, hey. <laughs> hey that was a great story. Um, I'm not complaining whatsoever. Good, good shit, gang. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I'm glad that to any outsider looking in, whenever the bomb says his child just died, they think it's a truly, like, insane yes. psychopathic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, no. So, originally, originally they were, they were, they were coming at you sympathetically. And then you said you, like, pushed your child out to see if they would survive. <laughs> and they were like, we got to get the fuck out of here. What? <laughs> So I like, had to. It was like the first thing on my bucket list for things I needed to make sure were possible or not possible in space. And I'm yes. glad now I know. Now you know because God, God damn it! Like it, it <laughs> they they were like, oh, this is a this is an easy thing that we'll be able to do and get away with. You know, the ship is sitting up. That and you pretty much gave the illusion that you were setting a trap for people who were trying to help them out, <laughs> and that's why they were like, nah, I'm not fucking with this guy. Not, not, no, not doing it. 
Oh boy. All right, give me one second and we'll do some bingo and fan art. Nice. Holy shit. Nice. Right on. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so next session you guys will be arriving at the station for the first time, which will be really cool and awesome. Uh, you already have a lead on a potential job that is happening, but as you continue to explore the station, other jobs that you might be interested in may uh, may open up for you. It's you're, you're, you're pretty much in the, uh, the open world right now, baby. Um, oh no, not that one. Uh, give me one second, sorry. I just want to say that I think this group is absolutely perfect because we take on chaos really well and we like never judge each other for it and it makes it that much more fun. So you guys are all like fucking amazing. I love you all. Group hug? Yeah. Nope, they didn't like that. Oh. What, the, what, the dogs? All right. Switching over. It's fan art time, baby. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share the screen. Wildin. You all are wildin' today. By the way, I was I was ready to get you guys either stranded or like off in a completely different direction if those roles went awry. So you guys did. <laughs> Little stranded bottle episode. Oh my god. <laughs> I you, hate that. You guys did. <laughs> You guys did amazing. <laughs> the, the fate rolls were kind. I'll just I'll say that much because I was like, I need a minute. <laughs> like I actually needed a minute to go through. No bingo, guys. We're going through bingo. Relax. Give me a freaking second, dude. <laughs> Chat's like, no bingo. Bingo's not on the screen. Just give no, me a minute. Man, Must be no bingo. We have no, no bingo. bingo. If I don't see, it's not real. And if the bingo's not here, I guess we're not doing it. No bingo. No bingo. <laughs> You know, chat, yeah, no bingo. That's what's happening right Sorry. now. <laughs> Sorry, no bingo. Okay, I'm kidding. Chat, I'm kidding. I'm gonna get that one YouTube comment that's like, Brett's a real asshole. He said there is no bingo. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, Felsic still can't get a W. What the fuck? <laughs> so true, so true. Uh, I don't, yeah, I mean, <laughs> sure. he definitely didn't this session. New Mido is cursed. Uh, cursed? Became I would, cursed. I would, yeah. I would argue that they weren't at first. I would listen. I was ready from all the uh, all the all the rules that happened. Like I uh, I was like, oh my god, you know what? This, finally, we can have a normal Mido interaction. They'll be <laughs> they'll be a little you know a little problematic, but not as much as the other Mido's in the past. And then it got shoved in space, and I was like, well, that's so that that's died. over. Uh, someone gets existential. Yeah, yeah. Mido. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no combat. Uh, I, the tech is just <laughs> rolled. The ship was hit. There was a good the nat yeah. twenty there. Yeah, nat twenty there. Meet some cute NPCs on the space station. Oh, the nope. Uh, repair, repairing or upgrading ticket. Nope. Zug helmet removal. Nope. I kind of repaired the ticket. Oh yeah, you did. You know, you're right. That that counts. Uh, Bo uses new subclass feature. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, Zug starts a new project. Uh, yeah, it's called fixing the fucking ship. <laughs> uh, new logo. Yes. Talk about what happened with Hecaton. Uh, we we briefly talked. I I talked about it. So uh, we'll check that off. Welcome to space. Free space. I get it. I get. I I get it. <laughs> Lawman brings up Braun. Of he, he, I mean, he did the first he couple did. lines of Yeah, it. we kind of like. What do you mean? But we kind of baited away. him into it, though. It wasn't really <laughs> I don't did. know what you're talking about. I'm going to check that off. We were close. We were teetering, and I think teetering is enough. People are more acceptance of the bomb in space. <laughs> no, Absolutely no. not. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, that was like the worst welcome I could have possibly had. <laughs> A chaotic evil slash stupid moment with Bo. Why oh, would yeah. you think that? I mean, I'm gonna check it off because yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but come on, guys. Why? Why are we doing that? Uh, Cowboy Bebop reference? No. Felzuk moment? No. Cooking RP? No. Chaos on the ticket instantly <laughs> oh, ensues. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, cursed food talk? No. Zug shrug? Yes. Brett takes emotional damage? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, Nat one. Uh, yep. We Nat one. Many intelligence yes. checks. I and Mido Buddy seems to be fascinated by space. I mean, yeah. A little I'm bit of a healthy fascination. Uh, yeah. Uh, unofficially, yeah. Absolutely. 
Really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. That was a lot of close bingos. Alright. Yeah, we got close a couple of times, but that's okay. Uh, Alright, now we're going to do fan art. I mean, if that's okay with you, chat, we're going to do some fan art. Okay, dokie. Let's see what we got. Uh, Felsic talking to a therapist. I don't man no man. It's just hard for me to properly connect to others. Oh bloody. So cute. Nods and dog. <laughs> hey. What um, a also, what a hey. Wait, yo. what a baddie. Hey, hey yo. Baddies. Kind Hot of. Girl summer. What should we do with the drunk space pirate? Uh oh, <laughs> you know, if stuff had gone better, I was going to try to brew alcohol this session, but then <laughs> stuff didn't go better at all. Uh, this fan art is fake. The DM did not win this time. <laughs> Sad. Yeah, one day, man. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. Hey, yo. Hi. Oh, I'm living for all the just vicious dress on fire fan art. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Zug who watched uh, Wednesday and <laughs> fell sick just being fell sick. <laughs> Wow, God, Zach. <laughs> Talon is a vocalist, I suppose. Let's see. I hate that man. <laughs> hate that man. All right. This this was wholesome enough. We'll go ahead and oh. post that on there. Aww. Very wholesome. Very wholesome. Uh, so we've got this lovely little pastel uh, comic that's over at the fan art. We're not going to show all of it, but I encourage you guys to go over to fan art. And uh, check out the comic. Uh, let's see. Big wholesome vibes. Grip. <laughs> that is very um, cute. Epic. Epic. Let's see here. What if? Oh, whoops! Wrong window. Let me minimize this. What if Felsic and Zug grew up together? That would have been cute. Aww. He got a bucket on his head. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. Uh, some people are drawing and doing some interpretations Ooh. of the axe, which is awesome. Mm. Holy shit. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This is all real. This is metal as Whoa. heck. Holy shit. This is awesome. Cool style. We got some new hairstyles for Felsic. Oh, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got some miniatures oh, of cute. art. That's sick. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love it. I want to pick them up and throw That's clean. Them. That's just with pen, right? <laughs> yeah. That's insane. I love the shark. They never missed once. Man, people are loving fire. Yes, 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 yes. Because <laughs> oh, yes. it's good because you pulled the best badass. fucking mutation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm going to be doing that for weeks oh. now. Every time I, I'm reminded of this meme, I do it again. Oh. 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 Stop. Oh. You know, can't wait to see my family. <laughs> Oh, my child. Oh. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Yep. Oh, Ew. yeah, the ear. Yep. Huh? Oh, why is it sticking? Don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm not. See you later, space cowboy. <laughs> Drowns. Huh? He'll be in our hearts forever. Oh my God! Look, whoa, holy whoa! Shit. If, Yo, uh, is that the little... shaft head tilt? Yeah. Yep. It's Dude, I just love shaft. A little, some psycho. Yes. Right here. I never want these horns to go away. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, <laughs> God. Like reaching up to God. <laughs> <laughs> that is him drifting away. He's looking back at you. You guys want some snacks? Yo, that's chilling. cute. That's cute. Cool. My God. Yes, 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 yes. Why? <laughs> He's just becoming a devil. Yeah. 
Save same him. Looking ass, motherfucker. <laughs> you know I had to build it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, psycho, oh. psycho oh my child. my god, baby boy. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> I gotta survive. Guys, get it. Protein. It was ketchup chip. It's just, just ketchup chip. Oh, just, oh, okay, okay. Just, just everyone <laughs> relax, okay. <laughs> uh, new campaign, Dad's of Io. <laughs> nice. The hat gets larger. Ooh. I love the fuck prots on the bottom of the shoe is just a really nice touch. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, I think I should. I so I showed you guys this because uh, I guess um, Lawman made a request for a little. Uh, a, li a little, a little lo-fi channel. Ah, uh, yes, it's so good. Lo-fi so animation. Banger. I love it. With official IO music. Oh. That's a, that's a vibe. I, I, I mean, the, not, not, this did not happen this yes, session. No, but no, I, no, no, no. The opposite but, of this occurred. But, but well, maybe I, it'd be more believable if like a corpse of like a little goo guy kind of floated <laughs> that in. <laughs> Oh my god, we doing requests. Oh my gosh. So by the way, scrap kids. By the way, so um dude sick. This it's this beautiful beautiful I don't want to show too much of it cuz it's a great comic strip. Um but essentially it's uh Wait, this about is so about detailed. Zug looking for Drask and it's it's not looking good for 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 our little orky boys. So go Please go check out the the fan art channel and go through the uh, the comic because it's super good and I want you guys to enjoy it for yourselves. All right, so origin story. Yes. Oh, space, space. Hey, that's cool. We do got to get on spacesuits. We do. Cool. They're going to a station. Whoa. You better get something there. Yeah. Is awesome. This is so cool. Kick ass. We I gotta get um, spacesuits. Got the fucking uh, boosters. Got the ooh. Uh, I love the backpack for the child. Wait, why is he in your gun? <laughs> well, also you've got eyes in, in the foot as well, so it could be in the gun and also be a little child in the back. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot yeah, there's <laughs> uh, a lot of stuff going on here. Like the hat has to be taped to the helmet. Oh my god. Betchen. The flaming sleeves. I love it. <laughs> and of course. Bo. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> he got a little weight to put on him. Little hey, yeah, wait, hey, whoa, it's a little hey, fluffy. No chubby you guy. Have in space, okay? Space more space. These are all the things you could have been doing. <laughs> it should be night on the ship. We had to do mm. the crash course. Quite I think literally. we all learned a lot in character. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. uh, Valentine's Day cards. Let's get bloated. It's really good. Yeah, Valentine's coming up. Just saying. Wait, cool fan art. By the way. Yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm <laughs> talking about. Pipe what? Oh, yeah, those guys. Yeah, that tomato sauce guy basically killed the others and dipped. Don't mess with rats. Oh, <laughs> God. What if Felsic was a monk? You know? What if Felsic was a monk? What if, if? Felsic was Toss a monk? Toss some fists around. What if the bomb was a fight? The bomb was almost a fighter. That was actually yeah. almost true. Yeah, he was almost an yeah. Echo Knight. What if Bo was a Warlock? Oh. Uh, I dig it. <sighs> and just, yeah, here's everyone. Zug could have been a wizard. Drask. What if Drask was a paladin? There's a lot to think about here. What if Mulder was given a chance at life by giving him a new vessel? Toilet. Let's Let's give him the benefit of the doubt, see how it plays out. And then we've got a uh, beautiful that, that that is also another comic strip for you guys to check out. We've got a lot of cool comic strips that people do, and I absolutely love it. Samantha, no! No. <laughs> I remember. Oh. Damn, dude. I remember. Oh. That was so. the roughest NPC death. Where man. where did we go to find the comics? Uh fan art. Fan art. But how do I, I find know. it in the sea of other good fan art? That is, uh, that is a tricky situation. It's I more of go... a personal journey. Yeah, uh, I can give you. Uh, 
Uh, I'll give you the link afterwards to today's fan art link so you can scroll through and check it out. Okay. Okay, I gotta go back up. There's just a lot of cool comics. Um... And I just really want people. We we would we would rush through it. I just want people to like actually take the time to read it. Cause I want to give it. I want to. I want to get all the love it deserves. I mean, these are all amazing. Zuck making a spaceship, <laughs> making a sleeveless spacesuit for Felsic because she's allergic. Oh, oh yeah, that's God. true. She gets rashes. Look at all the mitosis buddies. What do you think they're all about? <laughs> Ooh. This could be phase four, Mito buddies, you know? <laughs> well, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. It, it's over, Megatron. God. That was their name. Why? <laughs> Aww. He, he why? looks like a. He's a con. Hello, little guy. Look, my son. <laughs> and now we got some beautiful pixel arts. Oh, cool. Oh, this would be. This reminds me of um, what's the wizard game with the wands? Uh, Noida. Noida. Yeah, a little, little <laughs> kind of gives me some Noida vibes. That does look like a Noida wand. Yeah, this sucks, man. Yeah, especially because you're not here. God, what a cool scene. Good, good work. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I'm so happy this is gone. <laughs> Could come back anytime. <laughs> Whenever he wants. I think these are pictures of <gasps> you guys and your characters. Yes, and our characters. No love fucking it. way. Yes. So cool. That's wicked as fuck. Okay. Wow. Some good shit. That's amazing. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. oh boy. I need to save that. Oh. Holy shit. Oh no. I do not like this one. It scares me. Uh, yeah, this is a nice piece of art there. Very interesting. Howdy. Howdy. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on this one. Let's just go I ahead is. and go right there. <laughs> the hat gets <laughs> taller. It can't possibly get any taller. So fucking oh. cool. Oh. Yo. Cool smoke cool. effect. Yeah. Yo. Oh, look at that. Uh, this is called Remix of Io, mixing characters together. What if we got uh, Breeze Olive with uh, the bomb? You get a little sleepy slime. Very cool. Aw. Very cool. Uh, and it looks like... Yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. We've got... Uh, man, so many comics today. I absolutely love it. Point of view, you're a doctor of some shitty pharmaceutical company. For some reason or another, you need to get off world, so you need a lot of money. You got your hands on an expensive off-market prototype of a part, a part of a spaceship. You decide to sell it all to get the cash you need, so you broker a deal with someone, and now you're waiting for that someone, an orc engineer in a tavern. Your deal says that the two of you met alone, a one-on-one -on -one deal. However... And then the comic continues from there, so go ahead and check it out, guys. It's a, it, do, do they explode? They, uh, well, I don't. I How don't does wanna, it end? How does it uh, end? Uh, I don't. I don't want to spoil it, but uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> but it's very cool, so go check that out. Is that oh. the saddest fucking slime? It might be the saddest slime. That might be the saddest. I could never build something as perfect as you. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Oh, so cute. I'm so excited to show you this video. I saw this uh, yesterday and it was just mwah. So here we go. Let's check this out. This is the uh, pretty much in a nutshell, the Cure Mord fight that happened last session. <laughs> cute! Oh my god, the face is so cute in it. <laughs> yes! Yeah. <laughs> 
did it! We did it! Wow. All of us! He's back! <laughs> That animation was perfect. It was beautiful. So I, I, I saw it. I was, was like, I, I was so excited to show Thank you guys. Thank you so much for that. That was sick. <laughs> Anyways, oh, we piping and dreaming right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, buddy. Damn, yes, boy. Sir. Where did you go? Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta go fix some subsystems. King Rat. Big Rat. Hey, big remember, Rat. Right? Big Rat. That was a hard time. Big Rat. Big Rat. We used to be in a sewer. Yeah. We now were in a space. Sewer. Goopy boy. <laughs> you know, just a general breakdown of everything that's happening with Bo becoming an eldritch being. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Ooh. 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 That's cool. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, why are you looking at me? Hmm? Why are you looking at me? He look at everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, like okay, that's the best. <laughs> Stairs. So good. God, he did kick ass and now he's dead. He's, a, he's, he's alive one. again. He's just having a bad time now. He had a good run of it. Stop! <laughs> Actually, me. <laughs> oh, we're gonna take a bathroom break. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> My lifelong dream. <laughs> this is not fine. Oh, what a day. <laughs> My, Holy shit. My life's work. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the two responsible party members. <laughs> Maybe kind of, kind of, maybe, maybe not. Kinda not. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I'm loving these like panicked moments. <laughs> Everyone thought it was Barry because <laughs> my goblin and Barry voice are the same, so they're like, ah, yes. <laughs> Clearly, Barry came back to life. <laughs> Eat breath strikes, you could do this. Just turn the ship back on and fight the space fight. Space fight! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I did. He was uh, hungry. Hey, let Mido steal the enemy ship. It, it God, I fit. wish he did. Well, I was only operating the assumption that, like, one of them did steal a fucking vehicle before yeah. and killed many people. Onward, space cowboy. <laughs> Godspeed, little guy. License and registration, please. <laughs> <laughs> this all just happened. Oh my Is that god. The, oh, that's Ishimura, huh? Yeah. That's not good. That was my son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. I love these sketches. Holy shit. Yeah. Aw, snack. Now it ended. <laughs> oh. All right, we're moving on. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 So sus. Oh god, I kind of get the feeling Zug. Oh, uh, like anywhere. Oh, there we go. Well, I could do something for him. Single handedly handles the pirate situation. That's my son. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, but honestly, big respect. That might be our new comms officer, everyone. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> the Desperado reveal was going to happen like sessions from now. Too bad. I don't know too bad, is. DM. <laughs> We're just too good at D and D. Oh, there it is. Ooh, look the at him! Staring off into space. Oh, slime guy, tea time. Ah, oh, yes. Aww. Oh, this is okay. Cool, cool. All right. Oh, stop! It oh, keeps getting my, cooler. Oh, oh bro! My God. Whoa! <laughs> you gotta quit it. Got a lot of belts on. I need him. <laughs> hey yo, that's a cool border. 
Now you're here to appreciate it. Hello, nice belt. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. Epic. Oh. Space streamers, oh, God. excuse Dang. the bad coloring. It looks great. Don't worry about it. It looks awesome. Where's the shirt? The shirt, Lamau. <laughs> I'm taller than Drask in this one. God Stop, that's not true! Inaccurate! Got him! <laughs> Alright, guys. We will have another D&D &D session ne ne next, next Thursday, right? Right? I don't know. Do we? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. sounded yeah. very me, man. Sure. Oh, well, I, I, I'm more asking for you guys. I think. Yeah, yes, I think we're I, good. Yeah, I'm down. Probably. I'll be here next. Yeah. yeah. So we'll go. I got, I got good. stun locked by how unsure. You well, said. no, I was trying to remember because I knew someone had something going on, but I actually don't think it interferes with the D and D. So I think we're mm -hmm. good to go. Yeah, I'm so, good. I'm and good. also, and I, I also, love to. I also didn't want to like out people's plans, you know, and like accidentally dox people so that's why i was like mm -hmm. i need to think about it <laughs> so, i just yeah. need one more second one minute. yeah oh but no we're yeah we are doing D, &D next week so yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I love D. I love D. I i love D. &D. D, &D. D, &D. D &D. oh my god great D &D. great okay. session no i loved it later that was great i mean you, <laughs> you took it and made it your own i was really impressed with it um yeah so yeah that was great that was awesome Holy shit! I know. I this is the chaos that happened today is the is the key reason why I love D and D. Where I'm like, I'm just gonna let the dice tell me what happens because holy shit, this is insane. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it was good. Uh, I'll see you guys next week. See you guys yeah, next week. All right, take I'll care. Miss you all. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.